in 19 tries. Also of note the four home runs he's hit against him. The 1 1. And it's fouled away. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. This is on the ground over to first. And that's through for a base hit. I don't know what side of the fence I fall on, boys. Old that school, new school. I think that I kind of stand right along that fence. But one thing that gets me jacked up is watching guys grind down in the count and drive base hits the other way. To the plate now, Brett Gardner. One and two now as that one's fouled off. A runner at first with no outs here. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. Now another one two. And this is on the ground is short. Could be two. One there. But he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Settling in now, Luke Voigt. Now a move over to first. Runner at first here, one man out. And that one got a piece of him. And this guy loves to throw the slider, and it's a very effective pitch for him. But here's the flip side of that coin. He starts this one too far inside and plunks the hitter. Here's Miguel Andujar now, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. One and one, here it is. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. A time to start making some quality pitches. He finds himself in a tough spot behind an account with guys on base. First and second now. One man out. Fastball. And mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Rip down the line. And that is a fair ball as this one's heading for the left field corner. And the run will score from second as this ball game is tied one apiece. And he's out on a strong throw. And this is a nice decision here in the outfield. The run's going to score easily, but he sees he might have a shot at that guy taking third. So he gets off a really good throw to gun him down. In now, Gio Urshela. And a swing through on an off speed pitch. Looked like he was actually a little late on that one. Sent on the ground out to second. Fielded cleanly. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. A run on two hits for the. All set for the start of the inning. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Brandon Lowe. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Yanked hard, but foul to the right. And this is swung on and missed. Five quick strikeouts now, and that's your first out of the inning. 
boy, he's really on a roll on the hill right now. As we roll through it again, remember, he struck out the side in the last inning, and now he picks up right where he left off by striking off the leadoff man here. Let's see if he can keep this going for a little bit. Now at the plate, Austin Meadows flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. One out, nobody on. And they'll turn to the slider here, and it just misses. Two and one now. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. There to take it is Gardner, and there are two away now. The third base. And that'll bring in Yandy Diaz. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Now a swing and a miss, and he's behind one and two. And they come inside with the fastball, but it misses here, and it's back to two and two. Fouled away. Sent on the ground out to second. And that is through into right field for a single. Now back the first baseman, G Man Thor. So now to the plate, G Man Choi. Swinging a soft liner, and this is taken for the out. One left for Tampa. After two and a half, it remains a 1 1 ball game. Plate, DJ LeMayhew. He drew a walk his first time up. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. No, that's low. Line towards center field. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Up next to the anchor, the right field. Aaron. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Leadoff man aboard here in a 1 1 ball game. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed. And for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Jeez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. At the plate, Torres. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. Runner on first here with one gone and a 1 1 tie. To two balls and two strikes now. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. A ball that's carrying. And just short of a home run, this ball's off the wall. Oh, and it's off target, and he'll be safe at third. This thing stays in the park, but let me tell you something. He absolutely crushed this thing. This park is no bandbox. It takes a lot to get one out of here, and he almost does it. It carried a long time and hit it halfway up the wall for a long double.
Stepping in now, Giancarlo Stanton. And it's fouled away. Runners are at second and third with one down. Oh, and a good curveball that time as it's taken for a called strike three. And there are two away. Now batting, Hector. At the Gary. plate, Gary Sanchez. He Ten reached on a single in his first try. Yeah, and just another simple single to the outfield would be a big one right here. Don't try and do too much. You know there's a potential base open right there. Maybe sit off speed. One and two to the Yankees catcher. A one-two pitch. Pretty good breaking ball to lay off of right there. If I'm pitching, I might think this guy might be sitting on something off speed. The 2-2. Two -two. Now a ball lined to the left side. But this is a foul ball. The 2-2 two -two pitch. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. Hey, have an A-B right here. I know it's frustrating the heck out of the pitcher. You keep fouling these pitches off. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Yanks strand a pair. Through three complete, all tied one apiece. Welcome back to Dodger Stadium. Let's send it down to the field in Heidi Watney. Matt, race manager Kevin Cash talked to me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right, thanks, Heidi. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Even two and two count to Hunter Renfro. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. Jose Martinez will be next. Three two pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Jose Martinez. Oh, look out, hot shot to third, and there are two away. Now batting, the shortstop, Willie Adamas. Digging in to try it again, Willie Adamas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there nope. north of seven, eight pitch Two ABs, one. sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Now a curveball here, nowhere close. That's in the dirt. It's three and one. Hey, he's had great command all day. Want to see how aggressive he is in the zone with a three ball count. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Hits are now even at four apiece. Line to the right side. 
And that'll get down for a two out single. Some success with two away and the top of the fourth is still alive. Hey with two strikes right there he's trying to run that ball up and in to try to time up but it didn't quite work out. Yeah in today's game everybody's fighting so hard to keep their hands inside the baseball that I think a non executed pitch on the inner half Dan is exactly what the batter's looking for something he can keep his hands inside and just fist to the opposite field two and one to count. As a look, now the pitch. Probably better that he let that pitch go anyway. After seeing a lively fastball in the pitch before, it's pretty hard to sit back enough on a well-thrown changeup. Here now the 2-2. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. Ray's strand just the one. On to the bottom of the fourth. Tied 1 1. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Thanks, Matt. I talked with Yankees manager Aaron Boone during the break about the team's offensive performance so far. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. One and one, here it comes. On he waited nicely that time as this is lined into center field for a leadoff single. Now back, the first baseman. Now a throw over and a dive, but he's back. Into the box now, Luke Voigt. Oh, straightened him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. Hits are even right now at five aside. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Now at the plate, Miguel Andujar looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Here's a look over to first, and he's back in standing. One run, five hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Runner goes for second. Pitch is high. The throw is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. That's pretty savvy base running, right? A lot of pitches don't throw over twice in a row, so I think he was going on first movement, and it worked out nicely. Here now the 2-2. High in the air out to center field. Kiermaier is there now and he has it two gone. That will bring in Giovanni Urshela. Runner in scoring position with two gone. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Good time to be a nine-hole hitter right now. More than likely going to get a good pitch to hit. The top of the order is looming on deck. Good spot to be a good hitter right now. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Kiermaier is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Yanks leave one. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one.
New inning set to get underway. Here now is Mike Zanino. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. A one and two count to the Rays catcher. Really feels like he's just on cruise control out there on the mound right now. Boy, this is a tight one. You kind of get the feeling like the next team that scores is going to win this one. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. This is on the ground over to first. And that's through a base hit. Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it, and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back, and drive it the other way. Into the box, Brandon Lowe. And he'll find a way to get a piece of that one to stay alive. Just hung in there on that one. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now. Three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. And he fouls this one off. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. Bonnie finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. That was some nice execution on that pitch. Spotted it nicely down around the bottom of the zone. And when you do that, especially with two strikes, not a lot of guys are going to hurt you. You're going to get a lot of ground balls and swings and misses down there. So now to the plate, Austin Meadows. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. It's not that easy to make a good hitter look that bad, but that's what happens when you can bring that fastball and ride it in on the inner half of the plate right there. You can get some pretty ugly swings. At the plate, Yandy Diaz. Now a fastball as he has to lean out of the way there. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Now the 2-1. And now here's the ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. Judge will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. One left for Tampa. Halfway home, all even at one apiece. Stepping up to the plate, D.J. LeMayhew. He'll match up with Blake Snell now to lead off the inning. That's going to even up the count at two and two. And a full count as that misses. It's three and two now. Now a southpaw up to throw in that Tampa Bay bullpen. Three two pitch. Line drive base hit. Around first he's digging for second. The throw is wild and it gets away. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. Not to minimize the hit here because it was a double all the way, but the wheels kind of came off defensively, and he's on third because of a bad throwing miscue. At the plate now, Aaron Judge. Hit on the ground out to short. Adamas picks it up. 
Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. Digging in and looking for more, Torres. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Hit hard, but foul. Fouled off. The one two. Great job to lay off that pitch after fouling off so many previous to it. I got to believe that pitchers certainly get frustrated in these types of at bats. Both teams with six hits so far. A great pitch there as he couldn't get extended on that one and he's down on strikes for the second out. Now batter. No Striding field. forward now the Yankee Good cleanup ball. hitter Giancarlo Stanton. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. And a good eye as he lays off, and the count moves to two and one now on the Yankee left fielder. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Gary Sanchez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Two runs, six hits, and no errors for the Yankees so far. No offer from Stanton. It's ball four, so he'll head down to first. Now batting, catcher, Gary. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and that'll bring up Gary Sanchez. Here now the 2-2. Hit hard back up the middle, and that's through for a hit. Man, I thought this at bat was over. Down 0 2. He's able to work himself back into a hitter's count 2 2. And he's able to find a knock out there. Now the Rays manager is going to take that slow walk out toward the mound. And he's going to make a move as that's going to be all for his starter this afternoon. So he'll depart here in the fifth after working just four and two thirds and he's on the hook for the L unless this one turns around. You're Anthony Banda play. trots in from the bullpen now, here as he inherits away. a tough spot with two on Number and two away. Three. Anthony Banda. In now, Brett Gardner to two and two now. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to. Payoff pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Right fielder giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. A run on two hits for the Yankees. Five innings complete. The Yankees lead it two to one. G Man Choi, the next to hit. Three and one. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose.
Now here's the pitch. The bouncer to the left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Up next for Tampa Bay, the right fielder, Hunter Winter. Standing in now, Hunter Renfro. And he takes a cold strike, too. That's a pitch he'd like to have back. You're not going to see very many pitches like that from a pitcher of this quality. I'm sure he'd like to have that one back to take a swing at it. The one two is looked at for ball number two. Hits are even at seven apiece. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. That's 10 strikeouts for him now. And I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. To the plate now, Jose Martinez. Fastball, and hmm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. Low-scoring game thus far, 2-1 to one here in the sixth. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. On a rope to the second baseman. And the runner gets back. No double play. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And up next will be Willie Adamas. The 1-1 pitch. A ball and two strikes now. Can't waste getting the leadoff runner on in this situation. Someone's got to bear down and get a big knock. The one two. Out, two and two. Down the third baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. Line hard, but foul. The next 3-2. High in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Gets him looking up around the letters. Ray's strand just the one. They still trail it here two to one. Now in the box, Luke Voigt. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1. One, one. It's a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Hit on the ground to short. Adamez scoops it up. Throw in time as he's called out on a bang-bang play at first. And that'll bring up Miguel Andujar. The one two on a line that's a base hit in the left field. Dan how hard is it to massage your way through such a deep lineup. I mean even the eight nine hole hitters are solid big league players. You know Mark these days you're not seeing a lot of defensive specialists in the infield or outfield. If you're in that starting lineup these days there's a pretty good job you can swing the bat.
So now to the plate, Gio Urshela scooped up to second for one. Relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We're through six full. It's the Yankees two, the Rays one. Tyler Lyons is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58, Tyler Lyons. At the plate, Kevin Kiermeyer. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Nice job there taking care of the leadoff hitter via the strikeout. I'll tell you, in a one-run game, especially this late, getting that first guy in the mm -hmm. inning, it's so important. It changes the whole complexion of the inning, so that was a big out. Into the box, Mike Sanino. Fouled away. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one, our score. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Stanton on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now that into the box, Brandon Lowe. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Two and one to the Rays' leadoff batter. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Now the 2 1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Rays go in order 1 2 3. Our score remains 2 to 1. Standing in, DJ LeMayhew. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Three two pitch. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. That leadoff walk is a great way to start this Thank inning you. when you're looking to pad the lead could be the beginning of good things here in this half inning. Stepping up now, Aaron Judge. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. That's his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Still one and two as he fouls it away. Nobody out, runner on first. Ball. And this is taken for a ball high and tight. Two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Hit on the ground toward the left. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And the recovery won't be in time as he'll beat the throw to first. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I'd bet he'd like to have that one over. So it's first and second now. Nobody out. And that'll bring up the exciting middle infielder, Glaber Torres. Breaking pitch, and this bounces in front of the catcher. Well, the Yankees have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to see if they can get it, but now it sure would be a good time. A high fastball is in there. One of the most frustrating things for me to watch in this game is guys getting count leverage and not pull the trigger on a fastball middle in. That's why you play, to get in those situations where you can try and do damage. What do you want, the nasty slider? A swing and a shot hit down the corner. 
And nearly a three run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. He's set. Here's the 2 2. Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another 2 2. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. A swing and a ground ball to third. To second for one. On to first, a double play. Made him throw a lot of pitches in that at bat, but he'll take the double play as a trade off for sure. Digging in now for the Yankees, Giancarlo Stanton. It was a walk in his last trip. One and one. Here it is. And the curveball bounces here, but a good job behind the plate to keep it at arm's length. Looked like he tried to pull it there, but he swings right through the fastball. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. Here's the two and two. Here's a fly ball well hit. Meadows moving back to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. One left for the Yankees. They lead it two to one. Zach Britton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 53, Zach Britton. Up next for the Rays, Austin Meadows. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. One and two as he chases the slider. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Pulled toward right center field. Gardner is there. Looks it into his glove and there's one gone. Into the box now, Yandy Diaz. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and two, here it comes. Drives it out to deep right center field. Judge is on the move. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now battle. Next to battle be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, G-Man Choi. So far, two for three in this one. Now the 2-1. Grounded up the first baseline. And they're working the outer half here, but that one's wide for ball three. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Down in order go the Rays. They're down 2-1. So digging in now, Gary Sanchez is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Now the one and one pitch. Ground ball right into the shift. Throw on to first in time, one away. Here's Brett Gardner now. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Gardner. Now the three and two pitch. 
skied in the air to straightaway left. Meadows moving back. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Now back, first base. So stepping in, Luke Voigt. 0 for 2 with a hit by pitch so far. The 2 1 home. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The 2 2 one more time. Off speed pitch okay, in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And that is off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Man, at bats like this make every now hitting coach happy. Yeah, this is what they all preach. Stay yeah. inside the ball, stay I'm behind the ball. ball. You can see he lets this one travel deep, then just inside outs this thing off the right center field wall. That's some rare power there and a little bit scary to opposing pitchers. Oliver Drake enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 47, Oliver Drake. Blake now Miguel Andujar the count now at two and two two and two here it is he got him and what would have been an insurance run is instead left on base as the inning is over danger averted following the two out double So with a safe situation on tap, they'll hand the ball over to a formidable force indeed. The very hard-throwing left-hander, Aroldis Chapman. Digging in, Hunter Renfro. Three at-bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. He's set. Here's the three and two. And it's fouled away. The next three, two. And another foul ball. Into the corner and slicing foul. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Now that designated hitter. Time okay. called here as with the potential Our tying team. run aboard, they'll Your make the move lead. to get a little more speed out there. The Next will be the Double designated first hitter, first. Jose Martinez. Okay. He'll be looking for something he okay. could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. The 3 1 is swung on and missed, and that's a full count now. Three balls and two strikes. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Another full count pitch home. Gets the outside corner, strike three. Really important time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is stranding him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that run. In now, Willie Adamas. There goes Margo. Pitch outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. You're at incomplete. Now running at second base. Number 13. And well, Margot. One out, one on in a one-run game. And he fouls this one off. The 2-1. 
2 2. And a left handed batter waiting on deck, though there's a good shot he might get pulled back. Count remains full. Looking for the K, here's the pitch. This is hit high and deep out to left. Back goes Stanton, still ranging back. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. It's a two-run shot to straightaway left as they've taken a one-run lead. Hey, any home run in late innings certainly feels good, but when you're able to take the closer deep, you definitely send a message to the opposition. That's their shutdown guy out on the bump. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Down the first baseline. The one two. Gets him swinging. He struck him out. It's never easy to rebound after serving up a two run shot, but. That at bat was a good indication to me that he isn't letting it get to him. He went right after him for the strikeout. Standing in now, Mike Sanino. Swing and a liner. That gets down, and the inning continues. Number eight. Chad Green takes over now with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. Number 57. Chad Green. At the plate, Brandon Lowe. All even now, two and two. A runner on first with two away. Full count now, three and two. Austin Meadows would be next. Now the payoff pitch home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Judges under it. And the inning is over. Rays get a couple as you take another look at the two run home run. Last chance coming up here for the Bombers. It's now 3 to 2 Tampa. Manuel Margot stays in the game after pinch hitting and he'll be patrolling right field. Number 13. Well. Nick Anderson. If the men called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. All set for the bottom of the ninth. Stepping in, Gio Urshela. He was a double play victim last time around. He doesn't have to worry about that in this situation, Maddie. No one on base right now. Try and get some. Belted high in the air out to left. Meadows moving back. And as Yankees fans hear on television quite frequently, see ya! A solo shot here to left. And just like that, this ball game is all tied. Boy, that can be demoralizing. You have the lead, and you give up a home run in the bottom of the ninth to tie it. Now you just have to continue to play this one out. So now to the plate, D.J. LeMayhew, swing and a liner, leaps high as he makes the catch. Well done. Super play right there from the shortstop. Talk about showing off those hops. This was destined to be a base hit into the outfield. 
Now to the plate, Aaron Judge. One run in and one gone so far this inning. Two and two count. Here it comes. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. It's been a rough game for him at the plate. Couldn't get the bat off his shoulder right there, and he struck out twice before that one. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Stepping in now, Torres. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Kiermaier, still going back. Gone! Santa Maria, game over. So it's a solo shot to dead center. And with one swing of the bat, this ball game is over. Well, they say better late than never, and that's obviously something that he takes to heart as he puts a charge in one for a walk-off homer. Got to be the best feeling in all of baseball. So we witnessed a close one here, but this man was a big factor in the outcome, so we're inclined to pencil him in as the top player of the game. When you walk up to the plate and hit a walk-off tater, you're probably going to be the player of the game, and that was a clutch swing of the bat, and he'll be riding high on that one for a while, I'm sure.